Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the shit. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Yo. What's good? Yo, welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work and Shoe Live. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should go check it out. It's a lot of cool shit on there. Got two websites. Got one called 1111. Got one called Tefnet Archive. I got products on there. Y'all should check them out, especially if y'all fuck with me. Y'all should fuck with them. Everything on Tefnet Archive is 50% off. If y'all ain't seen the commercial before this shit started, you know what time it is. It's album time, kids. Also, if you're watching this from outside of Twitch, first thing you need to do is make a Twitch account. Subscribe to the channel. Say what's up to your boy by turning on the notifications so when I go live, you know. I'm on. You know what it is. Now, let's get into this stream. I know y'all like, where the fuck you been at? Listen, man. Y'all gotta understand, every day is a day. We're given a chance and a choice. Some days I choose to come on here and give y'all the information, but if it ain't coming from a genuine place, I don't want to talk. I don't want to just get on here and just talk. You know what I'm saying? It's got to come from a real place. It's got to be streamed from somewhere that I don't even understand. From a place that I can't even understand. Okay? Now, throw this in the chat. Today's angel number is... Five five eight. Uh oh. Look like we got a a new a new uh, follower to the channel. Four gathers. Four gathers. Four gathers. Four gathers. Welcome to Lure Perfected Work. I just hopped in this bitch and you already in here with us. That's what's up. 
Welcome to Shoe Line, Shoe Line, Shoe Line, Shoe Line. So, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, not really, but it's, it feels good to say that, right? Because that's what people just assume I should say. I had to go, man. Had to go, had to go reflect on self. Y'all like how I hit these headphones, man? Can't even tell I got headphones on unless you just really look. I don't know how, man, but I figured it out. I just don't like when, like, I have, like, everything behind it. It, it. You can tell, like, I look like one of them fucking gamer people. I don't got nothing against y'all gamer people, but that is not my swag, fam. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I got the, the Luigi fit on today because I'm feeling real. Mamma Mia! You know what I'm saying? Had to throw that bitch on because that's how I'm feeling. But yeah. I told y'all, man. I, I just didn't want to get on here and just be fucking... Every day it was just starting to get to that point. Like, okay, well, I'm not on here genuinely no more. I need to live some life a little bit so that the real shit can come out instead of the artificial shit. But yeah, I'm back. Back with another one today. So today's stream is called I Am The Altar. I Am The Altar. So recently, uh, okay, so a few days ago, I had cleaned my altar off. My, my altar that's separate from my body so that I could represent my body outside of myself so that I can be focused on my body outside of myself my other body outside of myself and my other body outside of myself because i got several of them so i just wanted to make sure that i could connect with all the versions of myself in every way possible you know why limit yourself to just your body you know there's other people that have the same spirit goes to you so those are also my bodies but when they subscribe to me that means that their body is also for me to observe. So, you know, I just figured, hell, I might as well just set up my altar and get my shit popping. Uh-oh. All right, y'all. So, depending on how terrible these frames drop today might be the determining factor of how long I do these streams. Because right now, I'm on a frame drop of 9%, which is, to me, that's, that's still pretty bad. So... We're just going to roll with it for now. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> let me get to my point. So, I put, uh, while everybody who makes altars for their spiritual, their personal spiritual system, which an altar is kind of like a mini church. You know what I'm saying? So, I got my mini church over here, and I, I am a mini church. And I figured, hell... You know, i am created this body outside of me that's not a child, you know, just like a a material body that thing of things that represent me outside of myself that I take care of and I pay homage to my, to the many versions of myself that lived before. So I put water on my altar and I drink that water also. Like I share the altar with myself. Cuz that's just to me that's just how I look at, it, you know, I ain't I don't want to look at it as something outside of myself too much. Like, it might not be my... Honestly, it's my spirit. Every, it's all me. These are these objects are all me. Because all these same things that create these objects are the same. Like, we have the same makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything in this space that I'm in is, is me. So, you know, I try not to identify with myself so much that you know nothing else is real i try to i try to uh disassociate my body with just being me and everything else around me the same way you know i try to make these things be connected to me even more by acknowledging them as myself so Currently, I'm drinking altar water. Like, of course, I'm going to put some more water on the altar so the body outside of me 
can drink as well. But, you know, the the body outside of me been drinking all day, so it's my turn to drink. It's a balance. You got to nourish yourself and, and this got to nourish the physical body and the spiritual body, you know? Like, pretty soon, shit, I got some shrooms on, on my shit. So, if, if, I mean, I might not be tripping per se. You know, I'm always in mushroom land, but... My fucking altar is tripping. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything, like the crystal. I might not have my medicine bag on me. But my motherfucking altar got the medicine bag on it. So, you know, those same energies apply to me because it's, it's my body. It's just it's just a body. I was, it's like a child that I created. Because that's all creation is. It's just when you create an altar, you're being, you're creating. You're creating another form. So that's why I named today's stream, I am the altar, because I am the altar. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about, oh, um, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to pay or pray to some random nigga. Like, I am the random nigga, if that's the case. But, you know, that's another story for another day. <laughs> That's another story for another day. So today will be the day since people don't want to give me 75 subscribers because they some hating ass motherfuckers. They don't want to share this with other people, this information. I might have just, since nobody fucking watches it, I might as well just get, get it off my chest. So right before I got on here, I was talking about uh, the raw material. The Raw Materials, which is a five book series. Um, these books are channels from Ra, which supposedly is from Venus, but that's not what Ra told me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, supposedly Ra is from the planet Venus. So we're just gonna go with that narrative because, hey, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to just be real. I'm going to just be my real self on here, man. I'm motherfucking Laura Shuex. I'm going to be my real self on here. So, hi, I'm Laura Shuex. Really don't give a fuck about humanities or primordial on a personal level. Because to have a personal level is for me to believe that my ego is bigger than all of y'all's. And honestly... My ego is, I have an ego, but I put it to you this way. Your ego is the same as my ego. And if you think yours is bigger than mine, you're just creating an illusion for yourself. <laughs> and I don't mean that my ego is the hugest ego ever, but I'm saying to have a bigger ego than a bigger ego than someone else. Like that whole statement's a fucking illusion, man. So we'll just, we'll just, you know what? I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna just say what's real, man. Fuck it. Cause you know, all these times I get on here, I'm always like, I'm always like, um, I gotta keep it on the, on the skin level with the hairs. But you know what? I'm off that shit, man. I'm gonna say what the first fucking thing comes into my head completely, 100%. So this is going to be an interesting stream today if you're watching. <laughs> if you're watching this stream for the first time, welcome to the Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shuex. I am a Syrian starseed. I mean, if you watch my intro, you are, I'm a Syrian starseed reborn. I actually, my past life, I was Akhenaten or Moses from what y'all read in your Holy Christian Bibles. But I go by the name of Cameron. <laughs> Cameron Cox. You can call me Cameron Shu though, because I'm changing my last name for sure. But yeah, I'm a Syrian star seed from the 19th galaxy, Ilium. Um, I've been I've been studying humanity for a long time and primordial people for a long time now. I, I normally keep a lot of shit to myself. I even keep a lot of shit. Nah, I keep a lot of shit to myself. It's stuff that even 11-11 don't even 
no like that. I'll tell her some things about the mysticisms of Laura Shoe X, but <laughs> nobody wants to hear this all day, all day, every day. So I put it like this. I'll leave it to Twitch to be able to absorb this information. And if y'all fucking with me, y'all fuck with me. And if y'all kick me off this bitch, y'all just kick me off this bitch. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you watching Laura Perfected work. Basically, this channel is about uh, the spiritual systems or the Christ consciousness grid or the purple ray, which would be the seventh fire, which is what the natives in my on my mother's side of the family calls it, and what the uh, the Africans call the age of Aquarius. Or the ending <laughs> or the beginning whichever whichever scares you the most <laughs> so for a long time I've been studying humanity even as a child I pretty much already knew what this this shit was so being that uh, I am still a flesh that makes me one of y'all. But my soul comes from a very far away place. It actually comes from the center of our galaxy, which is the Sirius A star. Um, if you look at Orion's belt, that is also, see how we have a father and a mother on earth. We also have a father and a mother in the star. See, my father and my mother are from stars also. Now, my father and mother on Earth don't know that. <laughs> but I'm Lord Shoe X. I don't know that. Now, what I mean by this is... Each person has a soul. We know this. Every person has a soul. No one is soulless unless they are an NPC. Now, you have people in the game and you have people that are the game. Okay? Remember, in order for you to be able to play a game, there has to be shit around you. So, what's crazy is... That's the war that we're actually in. The spiritual war that we're in isn't against good or evil. It's against NPC and playable characters. See, everything that we create, because remember, we're God. We're gods. We're goddesses. We're not queens, because queen is, a, is the whore of a king. And a king is a nigga. So, y'all take that however you fucking want, but... Just put it to you like this. The spiritual war that we going through is against the non-playable characters. Everything that we as guys create. Because remember, we're here to create. Once we die, our creations remain on this realm, right? What's left is NPCs. But NPCs have to be born into the world so that the game can keep going. Okay? So when we come here to the prison planet, yeah, you niggas can't stand it. Yeah, kids, I branded it on my t-shirt and pants. So whenever you see this sigil, you know what you're looking at. You're not just looking at a joke no more. You're looking at the recreated identity of all of this shit. The game, the recreated identity of the game. I gave the Matrix a new name. But remember, and I've said this before on previous streams, that you create this game, okay? You make the game. It don't get no, it, it's not even deep like that, okay? You get bored, so you come back to this planet to create a new shit. 
That's what Christ consciousness is. It's the creation of the new shit. Remember, all things must ascend. All things. Not just your goofy ass. <laughs> all things must ascend. And us as gods and goddesses, we're creators, right? So when we come here and we create new concepts, new ideas, right? Now think about your life after hearing this. Think about your whole motherfucking life. There is no, oh, I can't, oh, I don't know the answer. There ain't no motherfucking answer. You the answer. That's why you here. See, everybody want to seek information. Don't you know all the information you ever going to read is some bullshit? If, unless you wrote it. Science. Bullshit. Whatever you know. It's bullshit, okay? Don't go chasing after information. Matter of fact, don't go chasing after a motherfucking thing except yourself. Chase yourself. Why you think Peter Pan always chasing his shadow? Chase your motherfucking self. Trust me, you'll do yourself a great service if you did. <laughs> now, we guys and we goddesses. We create everything on this planet. And the war that's going on is between... Us gods and goddesses with super hardcore motherfucking amnesia. And the non-playable characters that we created in this game. Because like I said, matter of fact, I don't even think I got to the point. Because you know, you know, I got to take y'all somewhere else before I get to it. But us as playable characters, meaning that we're the gods and the goddesses. Because you in, in video games now, can you not pick your character's name mostly? Can you not pick the clothes you wear? I think it was a game that came out. You can actually pick your dick size on the game. Now, remember, we made the game, okay? But all things that are created by humanity, well, not humanity, by playable characters, because race is chosen. You can choose to be a white person. You can choose to be... You choose... You choose your fucking reality. So what you are is what you chose. Now. If you creating this shit, right? All that means is. All this shit becomes conscious because you created yourself. You still you're a character in the game. But you are conscious. But these, these non-playable characters, they having kids to keep the game going. Because you got playable characters, and you got non-playable characters, okay? That's why it's so easy for people who empower, who killing all these people off, are doing so. Because they were the playable characters that tricked all the non-playable characters. See, the non-playable characters... There's too many of them. So you have to get rid of them. In order for the game to be a real fun game. See, people don't understand. When you when you thinking like a rich person, when you thinking like somebody who got it, it's not even about the abundance no more. It's about the bigger picture. See, all of us out here in this world ain't real people. It's easy for you to be like, I wanna I wanna give to the world. Give to your fucking self. Give to your fucking self. And the only reason I ever say this for real, for real, is because that's part of the ascension process. Now there's two processes. <laughs> I don't even really like talking about other people's channelings if it wasn't my own. But it was. So, let's get into the two paths. Now, according to the raw material, or the raw materials, there is two paths that you can follow to move into fourth dimension as a person. Now, think, think, think for a second, okay, about what I'm telling you. 
Now, people can only three-dimensionally exist right now. They three-dimensionally exist right now. But if you can fourth-dimensionally think and fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth-dimensionally think, that means you can dimensionally be. There's a difference. Dimension, density, okay? Here, let's let's go to etymology today. Let's, that's been my favorite thing to do is fucking with etymology. Y'all, if y'all never fuck, matter of fact, hold on, we gonna go, we gonna switch screens real quick so y'all can see. Cause I don't like leaving y'all out the loop, man. So, let's see what the etymology of dimension is. All right. Give me a second. Because Tiffany then hit me up saying that her internet hating she can't watch. Gotta make sure all the people can watch, man. It might just be this weather. It's looking like straight ass outside. Okay. So now I can see the chat. So let me know in the chat if y'all can see what's on the screen or if I need to make it bigger. Make sure it's not dropping frames. Pretty small, okay. Uh, let me see if I can make it bigger. What about now? Can you see it now? Does it look look a little bit better? If I gotta read it to y'all, I don't mind. I will read this shit to y'all. Yeah, a little bit. Come on, man. See the yes or no. All right, here. I'll just read it to y'all. Okay, so dimension. Let's see. What's the earliest meaning of dimension we got on here? <laughs> just read it. Okay, dimension. Measurable extent, magnitude measured along a diameter, a measuring, noun of action from past particle stem of Dimitri to measure out, to measure. So dimension is to measure, a measurable extent, magnitude measured along a diameter is a dimension. Density. So density. Now remember, matter of fact, I'll pull up two of them so y'all so can understand. See so y'all can understand where your boy coming from. Dimension. Measurable extent. Magnitude measured along a diameter. Density. Quality of being very close or compact. From French densité. From Old French, density. From Latin, densitas, thickness. From densis, thick, dense. In physics, the mass of matter per unit of bulk. Measurable extent, magnitude measured along a diameter. Is this not the same thing? Thick, dense. This, this is a dimension is the measure of density, which is the same, it's the same shit. Dimension and density are the same thing, okay? So just had to put that out there. Just had to put that out there for y'all. So, 
So, fourth dimension, fourth density. Basically, what we're doing is we're moving into a new density, a new measurement of density. Okay, fourth density. Matter of fact, let's let's go back to the motherfucking. Let's see what the number four means. Four. Let's see. Do they have it as a noun? Adjective, noun. Okay. Let's see. One more than three, twice two. The number which is one more than three. A symbol representing this number. Old English, fior. Four, four times from Proto-Germanic Fed Wars. Also, Old Saxon, Fewar. Old Frisian, Fewar. Fewar. Hmm. Y'all see why I fuck with etymology? Because they break it all the way down. Root, Quetzwer. The phonetic evolution of the Germanic forms has not been explained. Watkins explains the F as being from the following number. Modern English, five. Four letter word, euphemism, the four minute mile. Okay, so four. Four is one more than three, twice two. The number which is one more than three. So, moving up just one one tiny level. Or in this case, it could be, yep, yeah, just one level because we're not on the second dimension anymore. Now, if we're looking at this from a chakra point of view, one dimension being the root chakra, two dimension being the sacral, three dimension being the solar plexus, fourth dimension would be what? Hmm? Anybody have the answer? <laughs> Fourth dimension being the heart chakra. Which is green. Which is why I've been doing a lot of green, green streams as the green man. See, as I previously stated, anyone can already be thinking on a fourth dimensional wave. A fourth dimension is unity consciousness. on a intuitive level. So basically, I would equate fourth dimension if we're talking from my perspective. Reading minds, seeing spirits, hearing spirits, uh, seeing omens, understanding omens. You know, uh, Doing rituals, receiving from the rituals, knowing instead of believing, because you're receiving direct information through your intuitive centers. The heart, the heart is your brain. Remember, if we connect it to the Taurus field, right? And we are a Taurus field, and there's Taurus field within us. It's Taurus field here, Taurus field here. Taurus field right here. Taurus field right here. We're literally physical Taurus fields. The earth is a physical Taurus field. On top of that, we have a Taurus field outside of our bodies, a spiritual soil field. Every time, every time that we connect we're automatically going into fourth dimension. So if you have NPCs telling you, do this, and you're feeling like, why do I feel completely outside of this system? Why do I feel like I'm not a part of this? Why do I feel like I'm chasing something that I shouldn't be chasing? Well, because that's exactly what it is. It's not just a feeling anymore. This is a lifestyle waiting to be expressed. 
that seems to have been forgotten because you played the game so hard. But instead of using the game to the advantage of your spirituality, you just use the game to make a life for yourself and then get lost in it. See, that's why a lot of the NPCs are existing because the game was so good to them as NPCs that they start to procreate at a crazy fucking level. And it's been going on for histories because the game been, it's been going on for a long time. This game ain't started yesterday. This is a billion trillion year old fucking game. Now, if we, if we're going through these, if we're going through this right now, that means we're going through all the dimensions. Okay. I know what, I know what they're saying, but this is what it is. If we're going through fourth dimension, dimension change, fourth density change, that means we're going through five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12, endless. Okay. This shit is constantly happening. That's why people change their mind. That's why people wake up and feel different. That's why I don't love you no more. Everybody goes through everybody goes through a big bang every day. Consciousness, when it comes from the underworld, see that's what the ancient teachings always were saying. But see, people don't understand that. They just understand shit as, oh, um, I'm awake, so I have a like yeah, you you're when I say that you wake up every day and you're given a chance and a choice, you are. But not not from the perspective of this from this game. You given a chance to re basically recreate yourself. You given a chance to create new knowledge. Because the collective consciousness is the motherfucking everything. Is the all, okay? When all these people, and you got to think too, NPCs are conscious people now. See, at one point, the game wasn't conscious like this. But when you got people who are, are fucked up, what do you think they're going to... That's why there are more than certain three people who have ever completed the 95% path, which I'm going to tell you about the paths now. So you have the fifty, the forty nine percent, the fifty one to forty nine percent service to others path, which is the positive path, and then there's a, of course there's a negative path, which you have the ninety five percent service to self, five percent uh, service to others path, which is these are paths to ascension. And by ascension, I mean moving into higher states of consciousness. But more than just consciousness. See, when when you reach a certain level of... Okay, let's see if I can explain this to y'all in a simple way. So, you know who George Washington is, right? I'm pretty sure some of y'all don't even live in America. I'm pretty sure some of y'all don't even... I mean, if you American, you know who George Washington is. Let me think of somebody who everybody on the earth would know. Hmm. Rihanna. Everybody on the earth pretty much knows who Rihanna is. As far as young people goes. Older people, they probably know her too, to an extent. Like middle-aged people. I would be considered middle aged, but most people know who Rihanna is. See, Rihanna is so known that the collective consciousness created her. Okay? Everybody gets to a certain level of power and they're able to change the collective consciousness. Seem like every time I start talking about the real shit, though, shit start crashing. <laughs> every time, bro. And I ain't even dropping frames like that. That shit say 3.6 of frames drop. 
This this why I don't be wanting to talk on these streams, bro. But I'm gonna keep going because if y'all can hear me, that's good enough. So if you you reach a certain level of power, right? You can change what the collective conscious is. And considering that the NPCs, these are playable characters, that means you have control over what the fuck they do because it's a game. In the game, you can... And imagine Grand Theft Auto. You run around Grand Theft Auto and you pretty much can beat anybody's ass and the police will show up on that game. But it's, it's no different. Wow. This shit talk about unstable. Nigga, I ain't even dropping frames like that. My shit say 5.7%. Now my shit unstable. 